Today is Thursday, March 30th. Welcome back if you've been here before and welcome if you are here for the first time. Um, I just got here to school. I'm going to take you with me for a day in my life. My name is Marissa Coleman. I am a second year, second grade teacher. Let's get started. All right, so for those of you that are new here, you've probably seen my channel only as that anxious teacher. That is a really new change. This is my first video going up since I switched my channel and my Instagram and my Facebook from happy stepping to that anxious teacher. I've decided to shift the focus of my content from my life as a stepmom and mom, just because I wasn't really making content about my life as a stepmom and mom. Um, I've chosen just as a personal decision to not show the faces of my children on my social media channels that are public. So I made that decision a while ago, but now I'm shifting my focus to reflect that. So the content that I'm creating now is specifically for teachers and as a sub focus, the mental health of teachers. That will be my focus of things that I'm posting on Instagram. Here on YouTube, there's not gonna be much of a change. I'm still just creating lifestyle vlogs, just taking you along with me for days in the lives, week in the lives, morning routines, evening routines. Um, so you'll still see a lot of that same content. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram, you will see a lot more about mental health for teachers. Anyway, whether you've been here for a while or here for the first time, I am so happy that you're here. Um, it is 8.30, I need to get inside. <laughs> so let's go. I never felt this way, I finally see the light. I've been lost in search for some Hey friends, okay, so I am here in the classroom now. We have had a crazy March. So I had this expectation for March, very unrealistic, but I thought that the lack of breaks would bring a sense of consistency and order. Oh, sorry. Um, so I thought it would bring some calmness and we would be able to get so much done. I was very wrong. Um, yeah, March is insane. I have learned that March is one of the craziest months. I'm pretty sure my students were more well-behaved in that break between Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I've kind of had to rethink my approach to March. Anyway, after my expectations for March were shattered and I was so sad um, because my behavior is crazy, we started getting an epidemic in my classroom of students writing the F word on little pieces of paper and leaving them around the room. So at first I tried to figure out who was doing it. No one would admit. The principal had to come talk to the kids. Our student dean came and talked to the kids. I interviewed the kids individually. Finally, I was like, you know what? They're loving this attention, whoever's doing it. So I'm just gonna suffocate it. So I said, if you find a note, just quietly throw it away. Don't come tell me, don't tell your friends, don't tell anyone, just throw it away in the hopes that the attention would go away. It worked for like a day or two. This was last week. This week, the notes have reappeared with a vengeance. So, I decided to, with the blessing of my principal, remove all paper from my classroom. So let me show you the inside of a desk. So, and I separated all of their desks. No one gets to sit by each other because this problem is out of control and I know it's more than one of them. So, if you look in here, it's just math tools, reading books, pencil box, more reading books, no loose paper, no notebooks, not even any curriculum materials. I have those all stored away in the back and we're just using computers, whiteboards. I just, I'm having to get creative because I can't 
trust them with paper right now. Anyway, so we're going to keep it like this through the end of this week. Then we'll have spring break. Then after spring break, I will try and find a way to reintroduce paper while also trying to figure out the culprit so that I can put an end to the reign of terror. So yeah, anyway, let me tell you what we're doing today. Today, we, um, so when the kids come in, we'll do our morning routine, morning work on whiteboards, then we'll do morning meeting. Then we are on our second lesson for knowledge. Um, we use CKOA Amplify, I talked about that in my last video. Um, so we're studying insects right now for our like social studies slash science stuff. So we'll do our insects lesson, then the kids go to PE, then they come back, we're doing a really fun writing activity where I'm pretending that our principal got this huge amount of money or something and she's either gonna install a water slide or a trampoline park. So the kids are gonna get onto teams based on which one they want. We're gonna brainstorm ideas. We're gonna write two papers together as a class, just digitally to kind of refresh them on opinion writing because they're gonna be assessed by the district on their opinion writing in the next month or so. So yes, yeah, so we'll do that. Then we'll do our snack and brain break. Then we'll do our skills lesson. Today we're talking about the E sound, how to spell that different ways in different words. Um, then we'll do lunch, recess, come back in for our restorative circle. Um, we have to do that every day with my class because there's so much drama when they come in from lunch recess. So we have to sit in a circle, share our feelings. Then we'll go into math. We're learning about telling time right now. Um, I'm also going to be introducing them to extra math. I'm introducing them to all these digital resources now that we're not using paper. So we're gonna start using extra math. It's like X T R A math. I'll, I'll link it below. Um, it's great for fact fluency. Um, then we'll have second recess. Okay, so anyway, we will do recess and then we will do centers. I'm introducing ReadWorks today and using Google Classroom. Um, yeah, because I want to start using Cami for some of the worksheets from our skills lessons um, since they don't have paper. Um, then it'll be the end of the day and they'll go home. Um, so yeah, the kids will be here in four minutes, so I need to hurry and set up my computer. I'm going to get you lots of teaching footage today. And I'll talk to you in a minute. Yes. I know, maybe I need to change that. You're being super sus. I need you to take a seat. No cap. Okay. So today we are going to talk about what makes an insect an insect. How many legs does an insect have? Six. Six. Very good. How many body parts? Three. Three. Very good. An understanding of the word microscopic. Hey, if you're not focusing, and I'll ask you to put it away. Okay. Exoskeletons are the hard body coverings of an insect because they do not have bones like we do. Their, their skeletons are on the outside. Those are underneath kitchen sinks. My cousins and I often hide during the day so you may not notice us. Does anyone know what type of insect I am? All right, go have fun. Time for PE. Let's go, let's go. Hey friends. Okay, so kids are in PE. This is my shortest planning day, so I only get 30 minutes of planning on Mondays and Thursdays when they have PE. So I don't really plan much. I just try and get done what I can. <laughs> so I'm probably just gonna do some planning emails. I'll probably, honestly, just take some moments here to just be calm. Yeah, so welcome to teaching. <laughs> I want you to jab the air. 
jab the air. What does that look like? It's like a punch, a poke, or a thrust. You a word and a sound. You're going to add the sound to the word and tell me what the new word is. He, the sound is ul. What's the new word? Heel. 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 Good. Okay, the sound is o. Add it to the word pen. Open. 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 Letters. E. 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 Sound. E. Word. E. Letters. E. Sound. E. Word. E. Letters. I. E. Sound. E. Word. E. Letters. E. Sound. E. Word. E. The most common. Very good. Okay, let's read these words. Ready? E. Hello friends. It is now lunchtime. Um, I took the kids to the lunchroom for their lunch. Had to talk with a bunch of kids because my kids are all being really mean to each other today. So we talked about making good choices. Why do we hear so many weird sounds in my room all the time? I don't know. Anyway, had to talk with a bunch of my kids. Still have one more to talk to after recess. Um, had my lunch. Well, I started making my lunch, then I remembered there was a kid I had to take down to detention. So I had to go back in the lunchroom, take him down to detention, then come back and eat my lunch. And now I'm in my room and we'll have to, we'll enjoy some peace for the next eight minutes before I need to go and get my students. Then we'll have our restorative circle. Um, I probably won't be able to get any footage of that, but I will get some footage of our math lesson. Um, yeah, that's where we're at. I am feeling good. And I think, I think that about sums it up. Feeling good, it's a good day. Crazy day. Did not know about the assembly this morning. So that threw us off a little bit. Uh, but it is a good day. One more day after this until spring break. So that's exciting. Anyway, time to zone out for a little while. Where you can keep your cash so it is safe. The bank keeps your cash until you need it and they pay you a bit for saving your cash with them. Since not everyone needs their cash at the same time, the bank has extra cash that they can use to make loans to people who need cash. Uh oh. Got a dog pile. Are you kidding me? It's just my feet walking. <laughs> <laughs> as long as your face is in it, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, she's <laughs> All right, so click on the green Google Classroom submit button at the bottom. It's not showing up there because it's cut off. But there's a blue submit button at the bottom once you've answered every question. Now watch, I'm going to show you a few features that can help you answer the questions. So if you look up here, we've got some different tools. If you push this button that shows two, like a square split in half, it's going to put the words next to the questions so that you can still look at the story while you're answering the question. With the story, you can listen to it with this button up here. So they will read the story to you. I want you to try reading it on your own, but if you need them to read it too, you can push play. 
If you need them to read the questions, you have to push this button. Under the sun, collide with me till I come undone. And if I come back to you, will you wait until I do? I'm always home until when I finally find you.
really glad that my commute is kind of long because it just gives me some time to unwind and decompress and listen for the Office Ladies podcast because I love it so much. So that's what I'm going to do. I will check in with you soon. Goodbye. So our goals, we are going to, we're going to get my oil changed. We are going to get my prescription. If we have candy. time before or after, we'll go to the park. And, get and we're going to go to the play and we have to pick up a flower. For after, so we'll see if they have that at Rite Aid. Then after we're all done, if we get it all done, you get to pick somewhere that we go for a treat. Okay? All right, let's go. All right. Picking up prescriptions was a success. We also found a cute yellow rose that we'll give to my student that's in the play. Can you show us? Yellow rose. Um, we have, what time is it right now? It's about 5.50. Okay, so we've got about 40 minutes until the play starts. So I'm hoping there's no line at Jiffy Lube so we can go get my oil changed before the play starts. Um, we are currently in line at Dairy Queen though to grab two large fries because we did shovel down some dinner before we left, but we want to snack on something while the oil is being changed. Thank you Wait, so much. You Thank you. Thanks, you too. All right, well, the oil change was a bust. We showed up five minutes before closing. Bad planning on my part. So now we are going to kill some time at the park till we go to the playhouse. the play and it was so cute they sang skidamarink twinkle twinkle little star as part of the play there were like songs too and so janelle loved it she she was i was like do you know this song and she was like yeah she loved it she was so good in there and she clapped and yeah, she did good job. and my stepdaughter was very well behaved too i was really worried about her but she did behave very well <laughs> now we're gonna celebrate by going to get some frozen yogurt let's go friends well there you have it we're just gonna sit here finish our froyo and then we will head home um if you like this video please hit that like button so that i know what kind of videos you like so i can make more of them um if you have any questions or comments about what you've seen in the video just comment below i'd love to get to know you answer any questions that you have make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell so you can get notified about all of my next videos or my upcoming videos <laughs> um anyway have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Show that pineapple. Hits you hard every time.